go. The final act in what has been a, a competition that has entranced us throughout. Never short on drama or emotion or talking points. This year's edition certainly does more than hold up to its predecessors. It seems this is the game in which everybody is keen to play a part. The stands are washed with colour, proud renditions of their songs from either end. It really does have all the ingredients of a top, top final. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. Two teams, Jim Beglin, with one common thought, to have their names on this famous trophy. Bringing back memories for me, Peter, a chance to have your name in the club's history. Having had the privilege of experiencing this uh, a fair few times in my own career, there really is nothing that compares. Once you get there, you want to keep coming back. I still feel like that now. gets on the way as with a lot of finals caution plays a big part in the opening stages but an early goal can blow all that away so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here which, which obviously we want for this showpiece Roberto and it's Dembele Lobs it in gently. Casemiro. Casemiro plays it forward. Modric. Diaz and the finish! Goal! Real Madrid! Could that be the start of something big? Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Real Madrid have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Let's sit down. Sit down. Goes looking. Busquets tries lifting it over. loose who's getting there Nacho Fernandez just did a brilliant job there it was one of those all-or-nothing commitments and he came up trumps great strength too strong for his opponent nothing wrong with that tackle ball won cleanly now it's Bale Longley the referee's awarded a free kick
Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Gets the better of his man. And it's played forward. Could move up a gear here. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Ball is over the line. Barcelona going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. De Jong. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Father Hell set up one goal so far. Nacho. Well, that's where he wants it. And here's Dembele. Roberto. Dembele. A really good feat from him. Played back in. That's pretty clear. It is a foul. That's a booking, always looked it. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Perhaps the final meaningful act of the first half. Well, he can get masterful. Ronaldinho! And that's caused a worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Roberto with a long pass. Ball's gone out of play. Dion. And here's Dembele. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. So, that first 45 minutes of the final, Jim, how's it looking for you? First things first now, and they must give themselves a platform to help generate some momentum if they're going to find a route back. So we're just settling back into this second half. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. De Jong tries to get it forward quickly. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Aguero offside <laughs> Fatty and, that's put and they've been caught out here Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Jordi Alba. Ronaldinho! Loses his balance and loses the ball. Memphis to pop. Going for goal! Mm -hmm. 
that's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this, it really is a question of needs must, just has to be done. PK. And here's the pop. Big chance! Yes! The contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that in. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Real Madrid have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Barcelona at the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Real Madrid making consecutive changes here. Held him there. Longley does well there, alert. He's going to be pulled back for that one. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Well, Peter, when you're up against a, a speedster, you've got to get to him early and not let him get into his stride, and, and they're just not doing that. And it's Roberto. Who saw this coming? It's turned into a real fight to the last. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Zidane. Zidane gets it out to the wing. He could be in. A spectacular effort! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Diaz controlled that with such ease and really ought to have followed it up with a goal. Sergio Busquets. Fatty switches it towards the other side. it out of harm's way Barcelona have it back and they can go again and helps available out wide Jordi Alba Casemiro is there to heave it away Barcelona merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Diaz clips one through. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Nacho drives it forward. Hooks through there. Carver Hell gets into some towering header. He's done 
well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Diaz really showed that he wanted it more than anyone else, but maybe heading requires extra practice. Barcelona can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Diaz, and Diaz! He's done very well to get to... All square after 90 minutes, there will be extra time. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. So a brief breather, and then extra time. The whistle goes, we're off and running. Casemiro tries to switch the play. Carvajal tries to stroke it through. It's gone out for a throw-in. Zidane. Tony Kroos. Dembele. Now a chance to break. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Stegen reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. And it's Coutinho. Memphis Depay. Ronaldinho. Longley gets into the right position to intercept. Longley does well to read it and intercepts. Well played, he saw that coming. Ter Stegen gets it upfield. Diaz. Pique, Pique with the foul. Clear. Extra time reaches half time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. And we're up and running. The last 15 minutes, the closing stretch of a marathon final. Done very well to intervene. to the keeper and try something new. Hits one! And that would have won it. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. 
Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Roberto. Forward it goes. Now it's De Jong. Hoists it forward. Breaks on here. He gets past his man. And he's away. Well, what's he giving here? Oh, the protests are futile. The decision is made. Late, late drama. And that's going to be a booking. A lot of furious gesticulation. But it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Well, I think the key issue here is why he did that and how he ended up putting himself in, in that position in the first place. He's got to be ultra careful from here. Calm as you like, and they're running away with it. Oh, dispatched with certainty. Yeah, and he smashed it right down the middle. It was just as well the keeper didn't hold his position. Real Madrid could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. Nacho gets it away. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Cleared away. The final whistle and the end. There was to be no perfect ending. They were brave, but they fell short. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes elsewhere. So much endeavour, so much expectation, so little ultimate reward. Yeah, and most of these players